the truth is not in the words that you just heard from those two individuals. The truth is in the streets that you saw in East Point with the 30,000 people. And let's for a second talk about who those 30,000 people were um, that were standing in the searing heat, many passing out and going to the hospital. Many of those people were not just people on the waiting list because there were tens of thousands of people on the wait list before the housing authority in Atlanta tore all the projects down. In addition to people on the wait list, there are now people at East Point in line who used to be in public housing, but were displaced and made homeless because those new beautiful projects you see have a very small number of public housing units and have a large number of market rate units. So that's one. And in addition, you now have displaced homeless previously public housing residents standing in line. You also have people who were sold homes based on the subprime scam who were now foreclosed on in the street and in line. So you have masses of number of people who are in need. And not only is a public housing agency and the government not responding by increasing the number, they're disinvesting um, and, and reducing the number. Now, this is great if you're a developer, because then you now own at a time where the real estate market has been low, where you can't make money, you then have control of some of the prime real estate in Atlanta, Georgia, and you own massive developments and are making lots of profits while the people are much worse off in terms of being homeless, living with family and friends, or living in their car. 